Good morning, cute friends. Today I'm going to be making an apple cake from Mama Sue's Volume 2 Cookbook, and this is going to be for our 4th of July lunch tomorrow. So I'm super excited. I think you guys are going to love this recipe. It's easy, so great to put together, and it's going to be sugar, vanilla, oil, nuts, pecans. I'm going to use pecans, eggs, flour, apples, baking soda, salt, all the things that you already have probably at your house. I am going to be using my Bosch mixer. So many of you guys, when I did that live with the pumpkin bread, you were like, what is, what is this machine? And I'm looking around for the top. Here it is. Okay. So this is a Bosch mixer and my mom had one when I was growing up. She made bread like every week. She was always making bread for our big family and she had a Bosch mixer and she has had it. It still works. And I love my KitchenAid, but you know how it just, that big old arm thing is in the way. So this, you just add everything right here and you don't have that in the way. So I still have my KitchenAid. I use it for some things, but this Bosch, I really love. My kids actually brought, bought this for me for my birthday this year. And I did cry <laughs> because I've wanted one for so long. Anyway, it was the sweetest thing. So that is what this is, a Bosch mixer. All right. So, according to Mama Sue's directions, all you do to make this apple cake is we're going to put in two cups of sugar, we're going to be putting in one cup of oil, um, we need one, no, two teaspoons of vanilla, and let's see, sugar, oil, vanilla, we need two eggs, and then we need... I think that's it. We're just going to mix this up. So let me grab those. Oops. And I had put them in a little bit of water with a little bit of lemon juice so they didn't turn yellow while I was getting everything together. So now what you do is you're just going to add your pecans and your apples. And this is three, yeah, three cups of chopped apples. And one of the things that I've just kind of discovered, and those of you who have been baking for a long time probably already know this, but one apple usually is like e equal to one cup of chopped apples. So now I'm just going to mix this up. And I would, like usually when I'm here by myself, I'll put this on top. But I wanted you guys to be able to see it a little bit better. All right, so that's mixed up. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to add three cups of flour. So here's our three cups. And something about this measuring cup, look, it has the liquid and it also has the dry. So this is so great because you can use this measuring cup. I have lots of them. They come in a little group, a little set. It's perfect. All right, and then the next thing we need is just a little dash of salt. And did you guys love that video that I showed you the other day of that really cool thing? Did that not blow your mind? It blew my mind. <laughs> so crazy. All right, so three cups of flour. Um, we need one teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna put that in. And then I think that's it. So now I am going to put this little lid on because of that flour, and it locks down. I'm going to stir or 
just kind of scrape these sides. Make sure I get all that good stuff. We'll turn it on one more time. All right. Now I've preheated my oven to 325. And when we bake this, we're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes. All right, now I'm gonna scoot that over. And according to the directions, Mama Sue doesn't put hers in a cake pan. It was a loaf pan. So, two of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let me take my beaters out. I'm sorry, you guys can't see this. So you just kind of lift this top off and you take the beaters off out and then you've got this great bowl, right? Okay. Let me see where I'm at. I'm just going to kind of push all this down in the middle part, make sure that's all mixed in there and it is. Now I'm going to push it back. And I'm just gonna fill these up. I have greased and floured them. Actually just used my Baker's Joy. And then I'm gonna put half and half in here. And I'm gonna fast forward through this. So I filled up my pans and I'm going to put them in the oven again at 325 for about 45 minutes and we'll see how these turn out. Okay, so the apple cake <laughs> that's in a bread pan has come out of the oven and oh, it's just going to pop slide right out. Awesome. And it has been smelling so good. Daryl just walked through here a minute ago. He was like, what are you making? So, all right. So there we go. They look awesome. And honestly, I did leave them in the oven for about an hour because at 45 minutes, they still were, honestly, I was scared <laughs> because I told you guys the other day, I hardly ever bake in these big loaf pans just simply because I'm not sure how the tops are gonna work and so but I wanted to follow Mama Sue's directions I think that's important when I'm sharing a recipe with you guys and so since it says in her recipe to pour in the loaf pans that's why I did that now I am gonna try it um, let's see you know a funny thing I like to cut right in the middle I'm gonna cut right in the middle it's my little loaf pan, right? Not my little loaf pan, but my bread. Okay. Hmm. That's delicious. I think you guys will really love that. That is so good. Okay, so, excuse me, so in this post, if you're watching on Facebook, every time I post something, we put the recipe right in that post, so you can click on it. It will take you right to my website and you can see the recipe. Also, if you have Mama Sue's number two cookbook, it's on page 35. Um, I will tell you, I was in the office the other day, and if you guys are just brand new to Miss Annie and or Mama Sue, we share an office together and I was there and she was out of number twos and so she had reordered and the UPS man just brought us a bunch of number two books so they are back in stock. So if you want to order this cookbook, you go to mamasueshomeandkitchen.com um, and you can find that recipe there. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. Always know that you can do hard things and be stronger every day and I will see you soon. Bye friends.